Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of January 31st. Uh, This week, we're going to jump right in here and see uh, what is going on for you, Virgo. Uh, There will be a part two to this reading, and that will be linked up in the pinned comment down below. So make sure to check that out. But uh, let's see here, Virgo. Uh, let's see what is going on for you. A lot of people getting the Hierophant this week already, um, and the Hangman has shown up for, I'm pretty sure, every single sign. (laughs) So, uh, I actually think this is a good thing that the Hangman is showing up. I think it's just referring to the fact that we're at the end of the retrograde this week. The retrograde does end this week, and, you know, we could be feeling like we're making a lot of progress this week, or faster progress. A couple of signs have had the Eight of Wands as well. So, you know, again, there could just be more progress. We could be making more progress or something along those lines with this energy. And that's kind of kind of how I'm seeing this. Uh, you have this uh, seahorse card. It says equality on it. I kind of feel this is more talking about balance and things balancing out in your life. I want to see what this card is with this. Yeah, you have the midheaven. This card says pinnacle on it. The Your uh, midheaven is the top of your chart in astrology. So I do feel like you could be reaching kind of like some sort of pinnacle, which we actually see right here. Uh, You have the six of wands, which is a card of, you know, reaching the top. It is a card of excellence and success. You have the eight of swords and the hermit, literally the card of your card, number one, Virgo, but also the card of reaching the top of a mountain. He is standing at the top of a mountain, he has gone through like a dark night of the soul, or he has experienced some difficulties, and now he is shining his inner light out into the world. So I feel for a lot of you, you're like gaining a lot of insights, you're gaining a lot of success here with the hermit. I feel like there's a lot of um, new things coming in for you with the hermit as well. The hermit, everything about him is meant to represent wisdom, by the way. He has a gray cloak, a gray beard. It's like everything here kind of represents wisdom. So I feel like you're gaining a lot of wisdom. Uh, The only problem is this right here, Eight of Swords. A lot of signs have had the Eight of Swords. It is a card of self-imposed restriction. I think maybe the challenge here is the fact that we've had to do like a lot of trial and error type learning over the past you know, 12 years, something like that, (laughs) like more than usual. You can say that life is all about trial and error. That is very true. I think it's just been, you know, multiplied many times over the past 12 years. It's been a little bit harder. You know, if you're trying to find success in business, maybe it takes you a little bit longer than everybody else. It's like maybe everybody around you seems like it's happening faster. Uh, Same thing with um, love as well. It's like maybe people around you are finding love faster than you or whatever. So number one, don't compare yourself to other people. Number two, really, I think it's just the time that we're in. So I kind of feel this creates like a little bit of a weird energy in us where like we, it's like we know we're smart enough to do something. Hermit, uh, Hierophant here. Look at this row. Hermit, Hierophant, Hangman. It's like you literally have the knowledge in wisdom. This is all wisdom and knowledge. And uh, he's gained enlightenment. Hierophant is a card of having learned and being, you know, it's a card of mastery as well. So it's like you have everything you need mentally or, or with your mental powers, whatever you want to call it. But it's like taking action is a little bit scary because of all the failures in the past. Um, I feel like, again, the challenge is needing to realize that this is, you know, just trial and error part of life. And yeah, it's been a little bit extended, I feel, for a long time for a lot of people. Uh, definitely you and Pisces. It's funny that Pisces shows up, shows up here. I think you and Pisces and Capricorn actually are like the three signs, maybe Leo as well. So like four signs, basically, that have been experiencing this um, this much stronger trial and error type energy in love, business, money, spirituality, health, everything. Uh, the good news is, is you have this Pluto card and it says rebirth on it. We have uh, the United States Pluto return this year in 2022. Actually, it hits direct in February. So uh, that should be pretty interesting. Um <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it yet, Virgo. None of us have really lived through a Pluto return. No human will ever live through a Pluto return unless we start living to like uh, 233 or however old it is. But, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens with the Pluto return here. Um, But for you personally, I feel like you could be uh, having a new beginning. We see that here because you have the Fool, the Hangman, or uh, sorry, the Hierophant and the Five of Cups. The Fool is the new beginning. You know, the Fool, we start the Major Arcana of the Fool, we go to the world, then we start over again as a fool. So I feel that this card is talking about your new beginning. You always get the fool. 
And I even say, you know, you, he has this tiny little sack on his back here. It represents the fact that he has everything he needs for this very long journey right here, right between his two ears. So this reading is very simple to me. It is just saying that there's like a rebirth, a new beginning coming in for you. And whether you believe it or not, you have everything you need right here, right between your two ears. You don't need anything else. Um, you know, the, high, the hangman, or sorry, the hermit in the hierophant uh, kind of represent a rite of passage. The hermit is definitely a rite of passage. The um, hierophant is more kind of like the path to mastery. He has three levels to his crown, three levels to his staff. I always talk about this. They represent the levels of initiation. Uh, the first level is initiation. The second level is apprenticeship. And the third level is mastery. So sometimes when we're, I feel like everybody right now has been is in that middle apprenticeship time where we've all been learning lessons from the world, the universe, whatever, maybe people in our life. And we're all getting ready to go to that like next level, that mas that final level, the level of mastery. We're all getting ready to graduate. So I feel like the, the world literally is getting ready to graduate to this next level. What does that look like? I have no freaking clue. I don't know what's on the other side. That's the point. We don't know what's on, we don't know what's behind the Hierophant. <laughs> uh, we have no clue what is back there, but you know what? We have to, you know, kind of master something or go through it to see. So I feel like, you know, very intense times as always. And we definitely have to let go of things that no longer serve us. You know, the five of cups, he's crying over spilt wine here because he's lost his taste for wine. But if he would turn around, he would see these two cups behind him and this bridge that leads to this castle over here. So it's like he has a lot to gain by letting go of the past, which I feel like we all pretty much do have a lot to gain in letting go of the past, which you could be doing. Um, the Hierophant, uh, is you know a card of learning as well. So if it, like I said, you've been learning a lot with the Hierophant. I was gonna say something else with the Hierophant. Oh, he's like the bridge between you know kind of like the universe and the earth. He is the bridge between the two things. Mm, I am kind of getting and there is like a certain element of manifestation here for you with the Hierophant where it's like you could be manifesting some dreams that just seem like a little bit out of reach for you, Virgo. I feel like it's gonna require work as always, but you know I think it's possible. Uh, next, you have the woman card. It says dealings or relationships with a woman. I actually don't attach gender to my cards in these general readings because I'm reading for a million of you. And, you know, this could be a man, woman, any gender, doesn't matter. And you have this July card as well. For some of you, this I feel like this card could be you. I feel like it could be you showing up in the reading, showing up in a position of power or strength. I do feel like there are, are going to be more changes around July, but I kind of see this more as a building up of the energy until July. So I feel like if you're, whatever you're working towards, I feel like the energy just builds and builds and builds until we get to July. Then there could be, you know, kind of like an explosion of energy at this time or at that time in the July time frame. That could actually be a good thing because I feel like it's saying that, you know, at that time there will be a lot of growth, abundance, you know, pretty much everything. Uh, you have the hangman, the page of wands and the eight of wands. It's like there is very quick movement with this rebirth that you are experiencing. So I do feel if you're experiencing a rebirth or some sort of change, it's going to lead to a quick victory. The Eight of Wands is meant to represent like a quick conclusion or things coming to an end. So I do feel like things are coming to the end, to an end for you very quickly. There's like a lot of success coming in for you as well. Also, I do feel that if you're hoping, like if you do anything, here, Virgo, I don't care what it is. If you do anything that involves getting attention, like if you're on YouTube, social media, if you're on TV, anything, six of wands, Hierophant to the eight of wands. Uh, to me, that screams attention. I feel like every single reading I do for you, there's something about getting attention. I would be doing things to get as much positive attention as you possibly can. This is an opportunity. It doesn't mean anything's going to happen. It just means take advantage of the energy. Six of Wands is getting recognition. It is a card of recognition and achievement. Hierophant could be from like higher ups. It could be from, you know, pretty much anyone in power. Uh, it could be just from people in general. <laughs> and the Eight of Wands, very social energy. So I feel for those of you that have jobs that are like public facing, uh, if you want to have a job that's public facing, if you want more attention, if you want love, get attention, right? These are very good attention cards. And we're referring to positive attention here, of course. So doing positive things to get attention uh, will be very beneficial for you. It'll probably lead to quick success. Uh, you do have the page of wants here. 
Page of Wands asks you to go on an adventure, and I would definitely encourage you to do that. Um, the, the readings have been very similar this month, and I talked about this in the January readings in general, that the readings were very similar. The readings have been very similar in the weeklies as well. It's like nothing changed in those weeklies. It's like I have not had a month like this in a while where things are very, very similar. So between the signs. So it's like everybody is dealing with this rebirth energy makes sense. Again, we have the Pluto return uh, for the United States. Even if you live outside the United States, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's a pretty major transit. And, um, you know, there are, it's kind of like kicking off some other things that are going on as well. So it really doesn't matter where you live. I feel like it, that could be, you know, uh, I think that's February 22nd. Uh, that could be like an important time for you, even though this is for the week of the 31st, it doesn't really matter. Um, I feel like that, that mid, you know, that mid to end February could be important here with this energy. Um, and you could be starting a new adventure. You could be traveling, moving, pretty much anything. I want to see what this card is as well. Yeah, you have this 10th house, card of authority. I definitely feel like some of you could be dealing with authority figures with that Hierophant card. But again, this would be positive. This would be more like you are gaining authority. You are becoming successful. Uh, you are stepping into your own power and strength with this energy. But again, I would be trying to socialize as much as you possibly can. Uh, and... Um, you know, really, that's it. There's no reason to drag this out, Virgo. <laughs> so uh, thank you for being here. And part two is linked up in the pinned comment down below.